obviously in this case, if we were mapping this out, we would probably think the thing that we are doing is traveling and that's causing the distance remaining uh, to be dependent upon that. So uh, one indicates a perfect positive correlation. So now we have them going up. In this case, uh, we're, we're comparing feet and inches. Any kind of conversion will have a perfect kind of positive correlation. So obviously if we said, for example, that we had one uh, foot, uh, is that a one foot would be 12 inches, right? So if we went up one foot, we'd have 12 inches. If we went up two feet, we'd have around 24 inches. So this is just showing a conversion. Now on this one, note that you don't really know whether or not you should put the feet or, or the inches on the X or Y. Is one causing the other one? Not really, it's just a, it's just a conversion, right? We're just, we're just measuring the lengths using different scales. So this is showing, showing a correlation, but it's hard to know if there, is, is there a cause and effect relation? No, we're just kind of defining the lengths you know, differently using different units kind of so. And then a zero means no linear correlation. So in this case, we have a bunch of data dots here, but when we draw a trend line between them, it's almost perfectly flat. So a perfectly flat trend line would indicate that there's not a correlation between them. Now, remember that most data sets that we have is gonna be somewhere in the middle. We're not gonna see a perfect positive or perfect negative. We're gonna see the dots trending positive or trending negative, and then we can see a trend line between them. And most data points might not be perfectly, uh, have a perfect zero, because even if they were randomly chosen, you might have a little bit, uh, uh, you might have a little bit of a correlation even basically for, from uh, the randomness. So these are the extremes, negative one, one, and zero, that we don't really expect to find in most of the things that we're going to apply this to, but we will do some examples of those extremes so that we can see what the border looks like. So this is something that would be more likely that we would see, something like this. This is with heights, heights and weights of individuals. So in this case, if I was thinking about heights and weights of people, for example, measured in inches and pounds, then you would think that the heights, I would hypothesize that if someone is taller, that would tend towards a higher weight. That would be my hypothesis, right? I would think that if there's a cause and effect kind of relationship, taller people will tend to be heavier on in general. And so if you plot that out and we see this, we're, we see that that does indeed look to be the case. Now, all the dots do not fall exactly on the line, meaning I can't, ex 